And one of the most interesting ways that we figure out, okay, how can we tie, say, the Gospel of Matthew to the first century in Judea is um, studies that have been done on uh, name frequency. So this is called onomastic congruence, where we look at the most popular names within a particular geographical area, and we compare it to uh, how names are differentiated. So the name Joe is pretty common. So when you have a room and there's more than one Joe, you differentiate, okay? Mm -hmm. That's Joe Rogan or, you know, right. that's MMA Joe. You know, we figure out a way yeah. to do it. Um, and that's called a disambiguator. And we mm. see this in the New Testament when you have lots of Peters, right? You have, you have uh, Simon Peter, mm. you have um, uh, Peter the Canaanian, you have, uh, you know, or, or James the son of Zebedee, or you have lots of Marys. So you have these disambiguators. You even have lots of Jesuses, which is why Jesus is often described as the Lord Jesus or Jesus of Nazareth, mm. because uh, Yehoshua is a common Jewish name. And so we can look at the popularity of names written in documents and actually pinpoint some of these documents to particular times in particular places.